Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, a day or so ago, I let you know that if you are tied into the Google ecosystem, that Google is starting to roll out the Gemini site panel. So, they bring in AR to the site panel in Google Docs, Sheets, Slide, Drive, and also Gmail. But unfortunately, those services with the site panel and AR are not rolling out to personal Google account users, only to workspace customers. And I'll leave the video down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that video is because it ties into what we're going to talk about today. Because over and above rolling out Gemini site panel, um, yesterday on the 26th of June in my region, um, Google has announced some major improvements for Google Sheets. And the first is a major performance update if you are using Sheets um, on and in Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. And what Google has said from this announcement is they've doubled the speed of calculation in Sheets on Chrome and Microsoft Edge. And they mentioned that the update can improve the speed of actions like formulas, pivot tables, conditional formatting, and a whole lot more regardless of your file size. And um, how they made this all possible is um, they say this improved calculation speed is made possible by something called WebAssembly Garbage Collection, believe it or not, which is a new technology that enables faster code execution. So um, that update apparently is um, available now for all users and is available to all Google Workspace customers, Workspace individual subscribers, and the good news, if you are using a personal Google account like me, um, you should see a bit of a major a performance improvement now using Sheets when it comes to those different actions like formulas and formatting and so on. Now, I'd say that's the first major improvement that they have spoken about. And then there are a couple of others um, in case you would be interested. And... Uh, as you can see uh, um, on my Google Sheets, we get a new side panel here called Tables, which are pre-built tables, so that you always, according to Google, have a starting point for organizing your data. So you can click on a couple of these just to give you the general idea. There we go. And uh, so this is helpful, they say, for things like project management, event planning, inventory management, or something else. And they've mentioned that you never have to build a spreadsheet from scratch again. And I actually think this is quite useful because I think spreadsheets can be daunting for a lot of users, especially those starting out using Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel as an example. And then they also carry on to say that um, tables will also apply an improved design that inclu includes column types, filters, color coding, drop-down menus, and more. And they also say regarding tables that it will automatically align all inputs, reducing the need for manual adjustments. And over and above that, um, tables will ensure all entered data has the right formatting based on the column type that you select. So basically, those are faster ways to format and manage your data in Sheets, according to Google. And then the last one, just to mention for uh, this video is that they've improved project management with custom alerts where they've introduced conditional notifications which apparently will allow you to create rules in spreadsheets that send email alerts um, when certain criteria are met for example they mention like a notification can be sent when a specific columns value such as the status column undergoes a change so that's just one example so a couple of improvements i'm rolling out to google Sh uh, sheets if you are using uh, that app and service if you are tied into the Google ecosystem. And as mentioned, I think the big one um, with this update is that uh, the Google Sheets um, app and service is getting a major performance update uh, in Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. And I thought you may be interested because I know some of you are using Google apps and services. And also we talk about uh, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge on this channel. So just to kind of collate this all into one video, if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.